Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update on my inventory numbers for February of 2021. So I did pretty good in the last couple of months and I just wanna keep you guys updated on where my numbers are at and just kinda of check in with you guys and show you my progress. So as you guys know, I just got out of a no buy and I'm currently on a low buy right now and I'm trying to get my numbers under control. So I'm just gonna share with you guys each category and what the numbers look like. So first I have up my makeup category and makeup for me, I'm really not too concerned about. I have definitely gotten a lot better about not buying so much makeup in the past couple of years. Um, so ever since I found the Project Panning community, I've been really good about keeping my makeup under control, decluttering when necessary and using up what I have. So starting out December, I had 154 products and currently I have 149. Now that is from a little bit of decluttering and a little bit of using up. So I finished off a brow cream. I decluttered two eyeliners. Um, I decluttered a highlight. And then I also decluttered a liquid eyeshadow. So that's kind of the numbers for um, makeup. I've just kind of mostly decluttered a few things. I've been doing the Fantastic Ladies Monochromatic Project Pan for 2021, and I've been including a few makeup items that I usually don't get use out of that might be a little bit older in my collection to kind of determine if I want to get rid of them. And I did get rid of a few things because of that project. So I definitely recommend doing a project like that where you challenge yourself to use some older products in your collection just to see if you actually like them, if you actually need them, or if they're even like expired and you didn't know it. Like one of those eyeliners was so hard to put on. It was so old. It had been, it wasn't as soft as when I had first bought it and I just decluttered it because it was too old. So that's kind of something I learned. So for my body care inventory, I started out in January at 104 products and now I am at 88. So I've used up 16 products, which is really awesome. In two months, I used up 16 products. Um, I have not decluttered anything from my body care collection. Um, I did use up quite a few um, minis. I used up three minis. I used up three hand soaps. I used up one mini perfume. I used up two hand creams, one body cream, two pocket backs, one body oil, two body scrubs, which one was a mini and one was a full size, and one body wash. So that's my numbers for um, the start of March, the end of February. So that's really good in my opinion. I wanna get that number down to 46 and we're at 88 right now. The pace that I'm at, I don't think it'll take me too long to get there. Actually, I'm gonna do some math real quick and see exactly how long it'll take me to get there. Okay, according to my calculations, it'll take me 5.2 months, so about five months, um, which would actually get me well, two SAS, but a little bit through. So kind of like July, um, I will be where I want to be with my collection, which is good because then I can kind of miss out on the first week or the first month of SAS um, and kind of come in when they have like everything 75% off. So that won't be too bad. We'll see if I can stick to that. So for my home fragrance inventory, I started off in January at 52 and now I'm at 45. So I used up one wallflower. I used up five candles, actually six. I used up six candles. I did buy one wax melt, which I've just gotten into wax melts, so I really don't mind that collection being a little bit bigger, but I did buy one wax melt. I went through two car fragrance refills, and yeah, so that's kind of everything that I went through in the past couple of months. That collection is going a little bit by a little bit, um, and yeah, very happy that I'm using up stuff in my candle inventory. I'm currently on a low buy for that one, so it's going to be four in, no, sorry, four out, one in. So every four candles that I use up, I can buy one new one. So that's gonna be that for now. For my skincare inventory, I started off in January at 50, and now I am at 46 products. Um, all of those have been pretty much using up things. So I used up three makeup remover products, which includes a few of my um, makeup wipes, which I am not buying anymore. Um, and then I did buy one makeup remover. 
So I did buy quite a few um, skincare products. Skincare is like the hardest section for me to stay away from. I don't know why. I think it's because my skin right now, I'm very self-conscious of it. And so I just want to keep buying things. But anyways, um, I did use up one cleanser and I bought one cleanser. So that kind of canceled each other out. I used up two different acne products and those are both pimple patch packs of pimple patches. Um, those are really nice. I love those. Um, I used up one sheet mask and I brought in three, so that didn't help. Um, I did buy one sunscreen product, not going to fault myself for that, sunscreen is important. I did finish up one lip scrub, I finished up one moisturizer, but I also bought one moisturizer, and then I finished up one mini. So. I, um, in January I decreased by eight, but I bought seven. So I really only decreased by one. And then in February I decreased by four and I bought one. So I really only decreased by three. So I only decreased by four in the last couple of months. So I really want to stick to a no buy on skincare for now, um, and get those numbers down because I really want to <laughs> get my, um, skincare inventory down. I don't need, you know, like six face masks at a time. That's a little excessive. And for hair care, this is the last section that I have. I started off in January at 47 products and now I'm at 42. So that's a total of five that I have gone down by. So I used up two conditioners. This includes minis. I used up one shampoo. I used up two curly hair products, but I also bought one. Um, I'm not really going to fault myself for that because I used up a mousse and then I bought a mousse. So like those don't really count. And I used up one of my scalp products. So total, I used up six products and I bought one new product. So I reduced my collection by five. So not bad. I was on a hair care no buy for the past month and I think I'm going to try to stick to a no buy on hair care unless it's something that I'm replacing like if I run out of all my shampoos I can buy a new shampoo but yeah that's pretty much everything for that so I'm doing really good in my makeup collection um, in my body care collection in my candle collection skincare is on a no buy right now because I just I'm a little excessive with that and hair care is also on a no buy right now so that's everything for my updated inventory numbers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link down below my um, Google Sheets that I track all of this in. I also got this inspiration from Ashley Nicole here on YouTube. She tracks all of her um, inventory in a spreadsheet as well. So you're welcome to check her out. I'll link her down below as well. That's kind of like my inspiration behind tracking my inventory numbers. And yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.